Hey guys, this is the hike to Red Rock Canyon here in Orange County, not Red Rock State Park in California, not Red Rocks outside of Las Vegas, not Red Rocks, California, or sorry, Colorado, or the other 15 million Red Rock hikes that I probably don't know about. This is in Orange County, and that's Red Rock Canyon here. It's a kind of a red sandstone canyon that is uh, kind of unique to Orange County. You don't see a ton of it. It feels more like Sedona than it feels like... Uh, Orange County. So it's a pretty cool hike. It's also pretty easy. It's flat. It's easy to follow. It's about four miles round trip. It's a great family hike and it is a beautiful hike. So if you want to do the hike, just go to hikingguy.com where I have a full guide including parking information, maps, everything you need to know to do the hike. Um, but otherwise I'm going to show you the turn by turn directions now. And just one note, I just got back from the canyon up there and every single person, probably 15 people there, uh, we're crossing over the do not cross this boundary sign uh, and crawling over the red rocks There's probably half a dozen signs here that say do not leave the trail Please respect the habitat and the nature and every single person was uh, Disregarding those thinking the rules do not apply to them. What will happen is if you continue to Abuse the rules they will shut this down and no one will be able to enjoy it. So Please take care. I don't want to get too preachy, but it really bums me out uh, when I see that kind of thing. It's common sense. Don't be a knucklehead. Follow the rules. Just enjoy it. You know, enjoy it with your eyes. You don't have to climb on it. You don't have to pull rocks off of the cliff and, and throw them. Common sense, guys. So go to Red Rock, enjoy it, and here are the turn by turns. So the hike starts uh, here at the parking lot, which does have a fee, and if you go to the website, I will tell you about that. But it's a pretty cool trailhead area. The parking lot gets full. There's a lot of mountain bikers that come here. But there is a trail board, and sometimes they have free maps you can take there. And there are bathrooms over to the side there, porta potties. The actual trailhead is right here on the right hand side. And you're going to see some signs about mountain lions. There have been uh, more mountain lion attacks here than other places in Orange County. Um, and I talk about that on the article on the website. So if you want to learn about that, you can do it there. But otherwise, just follow the signs for the Borrego Canyon Trail and keep heading here. All the trails are well marked, and you can see right away it gets pretty shady. And uh, you're going to go through all these oaks. It's really beautiful, nice shady trail, at least for the first half. Now this goes down along something called the Borrego Canyon Wash, which is basically a little stream. And in the summer, there's no water here, um, or late summer. But other times, you'll see little streams and water flows coming through here. So it might help to have shoes uh, that can handle that little mud. You can see another little one here. There's also a, a decent amount of poison oak here. You can see a guy off in the poison oak there. There's signs off, off to the right for poison oak. So just be conscious of that. Stay on the trail. Follow the rules. Have fun. Now, Borrego Canyon Trail goes up through um, kind of a suburban... Orange County neighborhood, and you'll be able to see the, uh, the the houses up on the right there and on the left as you go. So they're going to be surrounding you, but it doesn't feel like you're not in a park. There's some side trails like this that have been blocked off, but in general, you're going to go straight on this Borrego Canyon Trail until we get to uh, the next big intersection. Now, there's not a lot of hills. It's a pretty flat hike. There's a couple little ups and downs. This is probably the most extreme hill that you're gonna find in this hike. Um, but in general, it's a pretty easy hike. All of the elevation gain that you get is gradual from the start to the finish. And you're gonna to continue to go straight on Borrego Springs until you get to this big intersection here. Now, here you're going to uh, make the right and then a quick left. And this trail is called Mustard Road. There's a little uh, bench here where you can sit down and chill out another trail map to reorient yourself. Um, but otherwise, you're going to continue straight here. And again, it's a pretty wide trail. You're only going to be on this for a minute or two, though. Um, also, just a heads up, there are mountain bikers on this entire stretch, so uh, just be careful. But after about a minute or two on there, you're going to see this little turn off to the left. Now you're going to go down this trail here. There's a, a bench. This is actually not the trail to Red Rocks. We're going to do this little cut through here. Past this bench. And at this next little junction, this is the official Red Rock Canyon Trail right here. And you can see it starts right up there. We could have just went on the big road to here. 
but that was a little bit nicer. And you could go down through the wash, and then on the other side of the wash here, um, you're going to see the trail continues up to the right, and there's an older trail sign as we continue. Now this trail is not as big as Borrego Canyon uh, Trail, but it is easy to follow. You can see here how uh, well defined the trail is. It's not too tough. There are some sections that are washes like this. Um, there's some rocky sections as it goes. You're also going to notice that the cover is gone. There's no more oaks to shade you. You can kind of get glimpses of the canyon and the red rocks up in the distance there. And you're also going to start seeing these signs that say, stay on the trail, don't go off the trail. Um, there are a lot of little side trails and little washes that you can go up and down, but they've been marked where it's not the official trail. So if you keep going straight, you will be okay. There are some little sections like this that are rocky and wet. So if it's been raining lately, you might want to bring some water shoes or boots. And then eventually you will get to the um, Red Rock Canyon area. And you'll know it because it looks dramatically different. You're also going to see all these signs to stay on the trail. Now basically you just come to this little area here and you can look around at all of these smooth sandstone. Please, once again, don't leave the trail. Um, you can see all the signs there. Those are the signs that I mentioned earlier that people had crossed over. But it's a beautiful canyon. And then when you're done, you just uh, head back the way you came. So that's it. When you're done, you just turn around and come back the way you came. Now, again, if you want to do this, go to hikingguy.com where I have uh, turn by turn directions you could print out. I have maps, all that fun stuff. If you're watching on YouTube, if you found me there, if you could do me a big favor, click that little thumbs up button. That helps other people find this video, hopefully do the hike safely. And if you have any questions, just leave them um, in the comments. I'm pretty good at answering almost all the comments on YouTube. And if you want to do other hikes in Orange County, I have a ton of them on hikingguy.com. I also have hikes in Red Rock State Park in California and Red Rocks in Vegas. So pick your Red Rock. And again, if you come here, please, please, please stay on the trail. Don't be a dummy. Don't think you are so entitled that the rules do not apply to you. They certainly do. And uh, by following the rules, you will help protect this place and allow us to enjoy it for many years to come and not get it closed down. Anyhow, I will uh, see you out there. Have fun. Bye.